What's poppin' boys? Welcome back to the channel. Oh Today, God. I've got another 90 tutorial for you guys. This is officially the fastest way to get high ground 2019. Roll the tape. Let's go. I'ma make a couple stacks, do exactly what I want to. Mix a couple tracks, get a lady that I'm drawn to. Turn up to the max, get me faded till I'm gone, dude. I do what I want, couldn't stop me if you wanted to. I just work hard, yeah, harder than the rest. Some people say I'm... Alright, these type of 90s are called infinite 90s. I did a tutorial of a variation of these types of 90s, but this variation is the quickest and most efficient. To execute these 90s, you're going to perform the standard technique for free 90s. You can either do free masters, which are the easiest and require the least amount of mat space, or you can go for something more exotic, such as Majin and Mongol 90s. After your free 90s, as you know, you get a lot of jump fatigue. To counter this, after your third 90, you're going to run up your ramp a little further to maximise the time of running and therefore counteract the effects of jump fatigue. It is important that on your first three 90s, you do them far back in the corner of your 1x1, so you have enough space to run forward. After this, you're going to perform three more 90s. It is important to run up as far as you can, as you're going to get a lot of jump fatigue otherwise. With this method, you're going to be able to do as many as you want, limited only by your mat count. It's not really practical to execute these 90s in pub or scrims, but in a 1x1, one by, one, by all means you're going to have easy high ground, well, until your opponent watches this video. I'm impatient, I don't ever slow up I stay young, no, I never grow up 